The Pure 70 Ultra Chinese variant got a new Harmony OS update. I'm filming right now with the Pure 70 Ultra to see if we see any improvements in terms of videography. They overhauled the Xmage image processing pipeline for photography, especially for portraits. And this is, I think, the ideal chance to re-evaluate the new update for the Pura 70 Ultra and its portraits with the Oppo Find X7 Ultra that is the current king in terms of portrait photography. So let's get started. So we can see on the left the uh, Pura 70 Ultra, on the right we can see the Find X7 Ultra. What do you see from first glance? We have darker contrasty kind of look on the Pura where the Find X7 Ultra in this uh, portrait, this is three times portraits on the Find X7 Ultra and three and a half times portrait on the Pura 70 Ultra. First of all, it looks to be a bit sharper on the Find X7 Ultra, look at the beard hair beard hair and here it's a bit softer there in terms of eyes and reproduction of eyebrows and so on I think it might even look a little bit more artificial here on the Find X7 Ultra for that matter but it's not so contrasty which I prefer because my hair color is not that dark as on the Pura so this is I think a slight win for the Find X7 Ultra there in comparison to the Pura. Let's go back to two times zoom. And what we can see here is I think a bit more blurry background, a bit more punchy colors on the Pura. Again, a bit more contrasty kind of look. When we zoom in here, it's quite interesting because I think it's a bit softer on the Find X7 Ultra that leads to be a little bit better looking. Uh, it's a bit cropped more down at 100% because it's going from 27 times 27 millimeter actually and then we have here actually 54 and here we have 47 millimeters so this is a quite difference but when i go to the same kind of uh, zoom level there we can see it's a bit softer a bit warmer on the find x7 ultra but it's a bit softer as well here on the eyes where the uh, pura yeah, even though it's a bit edited is doing a good job i would say in keeping up with the pura 70 ultra so yes the pura 70 ultra with the find x7 ultra the pura 70 ultra is really really better there in terms of um, uh, portrait photography in comparison to the find x7 ultra it is closer together i would still give the slide edge to the find x7 ultra but this is my first impression here i will do uh, more in-depth um, comparison for sure when when it comes to portraits and uh, we'll do a longer experience report as well on the Pura 70 Ultra as soon as I've checked out the um, Magic 6 Pro's um, long-term experience report and then I can tell you a bit more about the photography skills there of the Pura 70 Ultra especially when it comes to photographing uh, my dog, my, my daughter and so on. One thing that I can tell you for sure is that it has improved on the Pura 70 Ultra. I was photographing my uh, daughter and my dog earlier and they for sure show a little bit of more details there, even though, especially indoors, it is still hit or miss because if they're moving too fast, then you get a blurry image. But this is the same issue that I have also on the Find X7 Ultra. So not much of a difference there. Otherwise, yeah, which one would you prefer here? The Pura 70 Ultra or the Find X7 Ultra? Which one you think looks better in terms of photography for portraits? I still give the slight edge to the Pura, uh, to the Find X7 Ultra. The Pura 70 Ultra did a tremendous job, however, and uh, just a bit of fine tuning here, and they can pull up something that is very close to the Find X7 Ultra.